Bombshell discovery by NASA. How the space agency uncovered the unthinkable Saturn discovery and game over. Callum Hoare of Express UK reports, NASA uncovered an unthinkable discovery which blew away scientists at the U.S. space agency. This is according to a documentary revealing this. NASA launched the Cassini-Hugan space probe into orbit in 1997. It was a joint mission with the European Space Agency and Italian Space Agency. The probe's job was to study the planet Saturn and its nearby moons. In November, though, in 2005, it made a discovery that would stun the scientific world. During the flyby of one of its moons, Enceladus, the sixth largest moon of Saturn, Cassini discovered water-rich plumes venting from the south polar region. Carolyn Proko, who headed up the mission, revealed that they found what they found during Brian Cox's BBC series, Wonders of the Universe. She took Professor Cox to the Continental Divide in Iceland, where two tectonic plates meet, to explain the phenomenon. She said, Enceladus is one of the most unique places in all of the solar system, and you can tell by just looking at it. We think that it's possible that something similar to what is happening here, tectonic plates shifting, where you get slushy ice that comes up through the cracks and creates more surface ice, is happening there. And it gives us an indication to how the whole system is working down there. However, the science world has hit, was hit by a second shock when Cassini reported back thermal readings showing tiger stripes below the cracks of Saturn's moon. And it suggests there is extreme heat below the coldest part of the moon Enceladus. Ms. Porco added, Cassini has found the unthinkable. It's found that the southern tips of Enceladus is extremely warm. There is more heat coming out the polar caps than the rest of the planet. It would be like saying there's more heat coming out of Antarctica than the equator. Those images blew everyone away and it was like game over. The November 2005 images showed plumes of ice being shot out more than 300 miles into the atmosphere like geyser activity is seen here on Earth. The observations during the flyby was March 12, 2008 and they revealed additional chemicals in the plume including traces amount of simple hydrocarbons such as methane, propane, acetylene, and even formaldehyde. This mechanism that drives and sustains the eruptions is thought to be tidal heating. Now what we know about Saturn, it's the sixth planet from our Sun, and it's the second largest in the solar system after Jupiter. It's a gas giant with an average radius about nine times that of Earth. It has only one-eighth the average density of Earth, but with its larger volume, Saturn is over 95 times more massive, and Saturn is named after the Roman god of agriculture. Despite consisting mostly of hydrogen and helium, most of Saturn's mass is not in the gas phase because hydrogen becomes a non-ideal liquid when the density is above 0.01 grams per cubic centimeter, which is reached at a radius of 99.9 .9 of Saturn's mass. Temperature, pressure, density inside Saturn all rise steadily towards the core, causing hydrogen to be a metal, a metal in the deeper layers. Standard planetary models suggest the interior of Saturn is similar to that of Jupiter, having a small rocky core surrounded by hydrogen and helium, traces amounts of various volatiles. The core is similar in composition to Earth's, but more dense. Saturn has 62 known moons, 53 which have formal names. In addition, there's evidence of dozens to hundreds of moonlets with diameters between 40 and 500 meters within Saturn's rings, which are not considered to be true moons. Titan is the largest moon comprising more than 90% of the mass in orbit around Saturn, including the rings. And Saturn's second largest moon, Rhea, may have a tenuous ring system of its own, along with a tenuous atmosphere. Saturn's moon, Enceladus, 
which seems similar in chemical makeup to comets, has often been regarded as a potential habitat for microbial life. Evidence of this possibility includes the satellite salt ridge particles having an ocean-like composition, indicating that most of Enceladus expelled ice comes from the evaporation of liquid salt water. And the 2015 flyby by Cassini threw a plume on Enceladus found most of the ingredients to sustain life forms that live in methanogenesis. In April 2014, NASA scientists reported the possible beginning of a new moon within the, the A-ring, which was imaged by Cassini on April 15 in 2013. Now, Angelovus' South Pole geysers spray water from many locations along its tiger strips. Starting in early 2005, scientists used Cassini to track lightning on Saturn. The power of the lightning is approximately 1,000 times that of lightning on Earth. In 2006, NASA reported that Cassini had found evidence of liquid water reservoirs no more than tens of meters below the surface that erupt in geysers on Saturn's moon Enceladus. These jets of icy particles are emitted into orbit around Saturn from vents on the moon's south polar region. The jets are emitted into orbit around Saturn. Over 100 geysers have been identified on Enceladus. In May 2011, NASA scientists reported that Enceladus, quote, is emerging as the most habitable spot beyond Earth in the solar system for life as we know it, end quote. Cassini photographs have revealed a previously undiscovered planetary ring outside the brighter main rings of Saturn and inside the G and H ring, uh, a, a G and E rings. Source of the ring is hypothesized to be the crashing of a meteorite of Janus and Epimetheus. In July 2016, images were returned of hydrocarbon lakes near the Titan's North Pole, the presence of which were confirmed January 2007, and in March 2007, hydrocarbon seeds were found near the North Pole, the largest of which is almost the size of the Caspian Sea. October 2006, the probe detected an 8,000-kilometer diameter cyclone-like storm with an eye wall at Saturn's South Pole. This is according to Wikipedia. From 2004 to 2009, probe discovered and confirmed eight new satellites. In April 2013, Cassini sent back images of a hurricane at the planet's North Pole, 20 times larger than those found on Earth, with winds faster than an amazing 530 kilometers an hour, that's 330 kilometers, uh, miles per hour. And on September 15, 2017, Cassini Hugen spacecraft performed the grand finale of its mission, a number of passes through gaps between Saturn and Saturn's inner, inner rings. The atmospheric entry of Cassini ended the mission. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.